those who have not seen pickaxe before brand new weapon normally called the gold digger i i just feel like it's easier for me to get pickaxe out of my mouth you all can call it whatever you want when you hit the enemy they give you 10 gold um you figure 10 gold and a v.60 that's 600 gold that's basically an extra amethyst in every biome and you will probably hit more monsters than just 600 worth once you get enough gold the number the magic number is 12,000 it's enough to buy like a used Audi. $12,000 will enable critical attacks um the crit is not as strong as say your giant killer but it's like a symmetrical lance crit that's always enabled um I don't know what the mutations are gonna be I would like to get my $12,000 So honestly, and look at my money right now. We're at 3,300. My hope is to get enough money to be able to pay my rent, to pay my mortgage. I need $12,000 to pay mortgage. There's no way we're getting 12K off this map. I, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not possible. But if I could get anywhere near like 7K, I'd be happy. Um, if you're looking at the combo as well, it's a three hit combo. The last hit actually does AOE around you. And funny enough, the AOE is ranged and I believe it's buffed by point blank. 6,400. We're halfway there to the dream. <laughs> halfway to the American dream of $12,000. <laughs> Survival oil grenade. Um, oil is not super hard to come by when you're playing survival, but I don't think it actually does anything for me. It gives me $480. <laughs> That's not half bad if I do say so myself. Boom! Of course I get hit. $10,000. In the first biome. Rip music? Well, I'm almost at my $12,000 anyway. If I were to get vampirism, that would be so that I can buy a new pickaxe, maybe, with Midas Blood. Um, it's a little early for that, I think. Oh, I got my $12,000. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna want to buy stuff in the game. To level up my pickaxe, we, we need to keep $12,000. So we're going to start off with Get Rich Quick. To try to supplement my cash flow. My residual income. So I can have another $12,000 in my back pocket. You know, walking around money. Um, Now the other thing about this is I don't know if hitting a leech, for example, gives me $10. I want to try it. So we're at... 12.59. I did not get money. Which is fair. That means the devs decided that we do not want people to farm off leeches. Very fair, devs. Very fair. Oh, but look at the gems. Someone's saying that this was the Minecraft build. Does Minecraft have this amount of gems flying around? If so, good job to the Minecraft team, I guess. Okay, so I lost my speed bonus, which means I lost the bonus gold that we're taking. Um, the pickaxe isn't the fastest thing on the planet. But it's certainly not a wrecking ball. Um, I've taken a couple of hits from things like rats. Uh, but if someone was to say V, I... Eh. Well, okay, so that's a good example. V, as much as I love survival weapons, I, I can't stand being hit by stuff that's faster than me. Very, very valid in that one circumstance. But this honestly does not seem that bad. 
uh test malay spawns yeah once we get a malay spawn we'll take a look at the dollar amount and see if i get the 10. i killed the bat through the floor it's kind of sick okay so there's a zombo except i need to separate it okay here we go so we're at 74. i did get money from a zombie which means infinite money glitch so long as you're in 5 bc and you want to get to 10 malaise yeah this is second biome twenty seven thousand dollars and if i were to say that that's basically coming from the pickaxe i feel like that might be a lie that's gotta be the get rich quick right um so maybe the true showcase should have get rich quick ban. <laughs> like it's a little too much money, I think. And you can't get an accurate valuation of how much money you get from the pickaxe if every single thing that you get is from get rich quick. Thoughts on giant whistle? You almost I've never gotten used to it. I only use giant whistle in very specific builds when playing survival um and that's something that my main hand weapons cannot kill on their own so that's stuff like shovel stuff like seismic strike um used it when playing swole build never used giant fist or giant killer yeah and it's all personal preference you don't have to use every item in dead cells that's what custom mode's for um, but personally, I like to use survival builds where my primary weapon does all the work. And the skills are dedicated to surviving. So it's ice armor, tonic, ice grenade, crusher, wolf trap. A build like this, it's like, it's a little better than shovel. It can do a decent amount of the work. Um, but I think it maybe needs a little bit of help every now and then. I just realized I'm losing money from Frostbite. Every time Frostbite kills no, 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 no. a rat, damage. I lost You're money. Dead. I lost $10. I want that rat. Maybe some crab? Little snow crab legs? <laughs> that was a butt clincher. Uh, what's the crit condition on the pickaxe you forgot? $12,000. Small loan of $12,000. Gets you crits. So right now we're sitting on a clean 2.9 mil bird check oh my god i just wanted to parry the bullet and to be fair we got out of prison quarters with ten thousand dollars so if you think to yourself that oh wow that's like really steep oops my bad deer in headlights moment um if you're thinking that this looks strong Remember, after this, we have to rate it. You all have to give your uh, 0 to 10 rating on the Minecraft weapon. Ooh, good breach, too. Not bad. And because this is pure crit, you can run Instincto in this build. Will this build please the investors? Chat is the investor. And I hope so, because we're working real hard on having money. You don't know how difficult it is for me to have money when I already have a lot of money. They say that money begets money. That sounds like someone who has not had $27,000. Oops. Bad parry. And then we shall go to bank. This is a little scary. 
But I feel strong, so I think bank is the right move. Wow, some sick parries in there. Holy crap. V show controller or cheat. Confirm cheating. Look at Frostbite. Frostbite did half of those things damage. Of oh, half of their health and damage anyway. Ooh, that's free money. Okay. Brett 5. This is kind of a scary curse to me. Oh, okay, that's fine. As long as that thing transformed after I got rid of the curse. Uh, but I have died to those things while cursed multiple times since this patch released. Uh, died to those without curse multiple times. Today might be the day. You never know. I wonder if they steal the money from my pickaxe. I would assume no. Be kind of scary if they did. Oh, wow. That's awful. Does it steal this? It stole my gold tooth. <laughs> my single gold toothuses. That's messed up. I don't even think I got the value off of it. Five things I wish I knew. Bank edition. The gold gorger will take your gold teeth right out of your roof. Yeah, this is doing real competitive damage. And it does like half the crit of Giant Killer. It took the money and transformed right in front of me. Are you kidding me? Wow, instant tier three. Wow, instant drink. Wow, instant death. Okay, that's fine. This is fine, JPEG. Okay. So, it went inside of me. Appears that for some reason, that bat goes a little deeper than regular green bats. Um, apparently, they're a little next level when they're golden. Not really neck deep yet, we're knee deep in dead cells. We're coming up to Conjunctivious. Conjunctivious known as one of the hardest bosses of all dead cells. We have a pretty decent build to fight it. Um, I have $40,000. And you would assume that $40,000 goes a long way when it comes to fighting Conjunctivious. Basically, we want to get a parry first. After the parry, we want to do stun grenade. And then after stun grenade, we want to do root grenade. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, so stun, root, really good root, wow, yo, I was shaking in my boots just then, you all saw the parry, right, or no, can I get a clip of that? That's um little v.csi, I believe. I mean, I'm all for fair and balanced gameplay. I don't know if that was fair or balanced. I have a lot of hours in this game. That's probably something that I haven't seen in a long, long time. Okay, stun first. Root. Root lasts for much longer. And or doesn't last at all. Not a lot of flotation on the pickaxe. Which is interesting. I'm getting a lot of what doesn't kill me value. I'm almost full HP off of this fight. Root. Back it up. 
All right. <laughs> Clean maneuver. Clean. Limpia. Limpia. Um, except for that one part. That one part in the beginning was a little sus. That's okay, though. I think this is a bad bank. Holy crap. We got rid of Get Rich Quick, though. So without that, there should be a lot less transformations. A lot less. And I don't have Frostbite either. I think Frostbite was also a big issue. 100% should have gotten that parry. I appreciate that, JC. Even if you're just gassing me up, I appreciate it. Honestly, everything I have in my kit should help. <laughs> Except it's still getting all my money. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if that turned into tier 3. Okay, look at the bat. See how the bat j ever so slightly moves in your direction? I'm literally feeding them. I'm feeding them like we're at the zoo right now or the safari. And like it's the emu coming up, goblin the giblets out of my <laughs> cup. It's like very, very nasty. And I think that's a pickaxe issue. I don't think it's really a gold gorger issue. There it is. I'm feeding it. V dot charity in the chat. Perhaps the worst weapon for the bank right here. Wow, it's turning into an elite. That's nice. Wow, stun grenade lasts for a long time. It just shot stuff at me? This thing's really tanky. I don't remember it being able to shoot stuff at you. That's new technology. So the only thing that sucks about going to... I should go cavern no matter what. The only thing that sucks going to the actual giant is that we don't have skills that hurt the giant. I would have to ditch stun grenade, which I should ditch stun grenade anyway because it doesn't do anything for the rest of the game. Um, so we would be fighting. Wow. Thank you, damage reduction. We would be fighting Hand of the King, Spoiler Boss. Well, Spoiler Boss could be stunned. Wow. I don't know. I have to decide what I want to do with skills. Let you transform. Knock it off! <laughs> Later, sucker. <laughs> uh, will you make a video about my hopes for Dead Cells 2? That is my goal, yes. But I have not gotten around to it. I've been writing down my ideas over the past, like, month. If not two months. And... I don't know. Sometimes it's just hard to pull up OBS offline and just talk. It's kind of, um, I don't know how to describe it. So obviously I stream, I am, I'm on camera. I talk to you all just fine, sometimes. But when it comes to stuff like doing a dedicated YouTube vid, it's harder for me. Not that I don't have the ideas. The only way I can describe it is if you're someone who can write a language and speak a language, maybe not write. You can speak the language, but you can't write it. That's sort of the deal. I 
I don't know if that makes it any less sensical. 98%. We're chilling in Dead Cells right now. About to get a gold world record, $60,000. Um, but yeah, I would love to be able to go through the thoughts. And I thought maybe I'll try it on stream too. Um, a lot of my thought process lately is that I don't really have to do it offline, right? There's nothing stopping you from doing a, a like, chat session style video. Live with an audience. We used to do live tier list discussion, for example. And I actually haven't done a live tier list in a long time. So it would be kind of a going back to my roots to do what would I like to see in Dead Cells 2 live. Uh, so next boss. We have Giant on the table. Giant, no! It's one of the hardest bosses in Dead Cells. Um, I'm a little skeptical, in fact, that I can get the no hit. Not because the pickaxe can't do it. I think my skills can't do it. Um, if the skills do anything at all, I would be highly surprised. Okay, we're getting good money. Okay, I'm gonna say Root Grenade does nothing here. Just to be expected, I guess. Oh my god, they actually gave me that parry. Alright. So we're gonna stay in our nice little corner. Yeah, we had to get out of dodge just then. I don't... Yeah, they weren't going to give me that. Unfortunate. Alright, clean, clean. One more! Oh, no, please! That's unlucky right there. That is the absolute unluckiest thing I have ever seen. Simplest jump. <laughs> I tried so hard. Got so far in the end. <laughs> Scammed once again. The I have 96% health. It was right there. It was right there in my grasp. The only no hit that matters is that one. Wow. Wait, I have never seen two of these next to each other. Long lost twins. <laughs> my brother. Never before seen. I'm watching you. Hat Gaming, thank you for watching. <laughs> uh, you kind of said it in a very scary way, but I appreciate you being here. Gilded Yumi run? I wish. I really do. But unfortunately, I would like to win. Um, it just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. You can't actually get hand to the wall to get the crit. Um, you can maybe crit the servants but there's more than one of them. So to actually shoot a servant, when the other one, when Cleo is gunning you down, I don't think it's possible. And then the queen doesn't have walls either. The queen only has the floor, well, the cliff. So you can't crit her. Conjunctivius moves all across the arena, so you cannot keep conjunct pinned against the wall. So really the only thing, if it even works, 
is Scarecrow. Concierge. Well, Scarecrow has mushrooms on the sides. So even then, I'm worried that it doesn't actually crit on Scarecrow. So that's what? Two bosses that Gilded Yumi actually works with? Biome clear is fine, I guess, but I feel like tactics doesn't really struggle in biomes. It's all about being able to kill a boss without the boss killing you. Can V get the no hit on the boss? Is Hand the King coming up? No! That's the hardest boss in all of Dead Cells. Some would say very, very little people on the planet actually have a no hit on this boss. Um, we may be the chosen one. Who happens to have that? Alright. We do good damage. Just to say that. Lead with Ice Grenade? No, 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 no. Just hit normally. Then Ice Grenade. Wow. Terrible place to be, by the way. Why are you not leaving? Holy crap! Like, how long was he at 50%? I'm gonna try to cheese this a little bit. The zombie will hopefully fall on Hand the King. Yeah, see the big chunk? One hit. Why did he do grenades? Why didn't he jump? He could have dashed. He could have done anything. Anything at all. And he decides to do more grenades. Hand the King, very, very smart player. If I'm going to stand right on top of him, I may as well just throw the grenades straight up into the sky. Let them fall straight down. He already got rid of the ice. This thing right here, let's see him deal with Cluster Grenade under his feet. Again, I'm always surprised when things happen in Dead Cells. There's never a day that goes by where something new doesn't happen to me. Sick. Goodbye, friend. Yo, the Minecraft build, Steve and Dead Cells confirmed. This is sick. Not bad, not bad. You hate librarians? So the number one thing that you need when you get to this map is an answer to librarians. That's Shantae, for those who don't know. Oh my god, and Pickaxe is the answer. That's sick. It's an overhead, I guess, and it, it can hit Shantae out of the sky. Uh, but yeah. Whenever I get to this map, I always consider, do I have anything that can actually contest the Librarian? Um, in this case, it's my double grenades. But if you are using Wolf Trap Crusher, you do not have a reliable answer for Shantae. Wolf Trap Crusher, very good. But in this biome, you now have a vulnerability. Uh, you accidentally reset a run instead of resume. I will tell you, I have done that live on stream. I've actually had a viewer build one time where we were like really late at night and I had to um, either go eat or go to bed. And I was like, okay, everybody, we're just going to save this for next time. Um, and then the next stream that I loaded up, instead of hitting continue mode, I, I did my whole spiel. Like, yo, what's going on, everybody? V.me here is your boy doing some Dead Cells normal mode gameplay. Never before seen. I have a, a viewer build sitting in continue mode. And I lost it. 
live. Very sad, very sad. What we're about to fight against, this is the spoiler boss of Dead Cells. No one has the strongest boss of Dead Cells. Um, perhaps one of the most difficult of the no-hit scenarios, unless you have a busted build. Um, and even though this is a showcase of the pickaxe, um, I'm not gonna say outright that this is a busted build. Uh, we're using two weapons I've never used in this fight before. Both pickaxe and the bombard, I believe, are brand new technology. We're hoping the cannon puts in work. We have Groot grenade. Groot does work on this boss. So we can do a roll through, double skill, attack after. Good damage. Good parry. Dang, I need to be doing damage here. Again, wow. Let's go up. He got stunned. Can probably do group. Okay. So we're not melting him, I'll say that much. But the chunksters are real. Oh my god. The bomb actually screwed me over. It delayed the fire tornado from coming out. And that's kind of why... Well, I guess I really got hit there. That's kind of why I didn't want to run Ice Grenade here. Oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh, we're both drinking. He's just as confused as I am. God. It's working for the enemy. <laughs> it's supposed to be working for me. And I guess in a world where you are specifically going for no hits. Um, against certain bosses, there's a few skills that you may want to avoid. Not cool, mate. Not cool. There's a couple things you may want to avoid. It's anything that is an ice, which will slow the enemy. Especially bosses, because you want to get the no hit. Um, displacement. So that would be Mushroom Boy, Wave of Denial, the Cannon, apparently. Um, even Crusher does it to some degree, but Crusher is a little more reliable because you can tell when the three are going to happen. Um, basically, you want to go for pure damage when you are specifically trying to get no hits. But yo, that was a a very well finished showcase of the pickaxe. And I gotta say, I did not feel like I was in any danger until I went to Bank. Bank was probably the only map that felt like it was dangerous. Um, so boss OP confirmed. And then you all get to vote. On if you think the weapon is of a certain rank. We're going to do an actual poll in the channel. Typically, I ask you all to go, you know, 10 out of 10 to 0 out of 10. But we're going to do it a little differently this time. Uh, manage poll. New poll. Rate the pickaxe. Um, this is gonna be, I'm pretty sure no one's gonna go below D. I don't think there's any F's in the chat. So S, A, B, C, D. If you think it's an F, definitely let me know and I will make it happen. Um, but let me know in the chat or in the description of the video below if you're on YouTube. Simply click on what you think is the ranking of it. And that will be logged with all the other folks who are also playing Dead Cells. And we'll be able to decide a little bit of crowd-funded, crowd-sourced rating. S-rank pickaxe, A, B, C, D. Let me know what it is. If you like the video, like, 
leave a comment subscribe for this kind of game and others like it otherwise i'll see you on the next video have a good one